Hey, what's up, guys? Hop and play some red painted today. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, helping with this list. Um, been jamming back and forth, Karn, no Karn, all different types of stuff. I just have no idea um, what to expect today, and um, we'll see what happens. Uh, so, yes, yeah, same things, two Soul Guide Lanterns type of thing. So, we'll see what's up. I'm right, going to play. You guys are doing well. Yeah, this hand's great. Try it. Everything I need, right? Uh, top deck mountain would be great. Top deck pyroblast would be fine. Besides that, um, I'll hold on to a. I'm gonna hold on to a lightning bolt here. The worst that could happen is goblins, and I don't want to. Really, I mean, there's no there's no rush for a goblin welder here, even though it could be. But um, okay. See what kind of color he goes for here. Get a daze out, maybe. Nice five cards. You got it. Gonna have to play right into his days here, I guess. So looks like it's a blue red Dover deck. I'll play into the days, but maybe I can get him to like not daze something here. Um, you know, if I play Braze Apprentice, maybe he doesn't daze it, bolts it in response. I don't know. Um, if I play Fable the Mirror Breaker, he'll get a Force of Will or a daze. And then he wastelands me, it's really bad. So is it right to go for Braze here? Um, have him be like, oh, I have a lightning bolt. You know, it feels better about that. If I draw a mountain, I'll I'll play it or another land source. Um, I'm just gonna jam a fable here. See what he does. Get ready for a daze here, then wasteland's the worst thing that could happen. Go on, so on and so forth. So. Okay. And then wasteland's the worst thing here, so on MTGO here, they always have it, so if I think they have a daze, they're going to have a daze. You know? so. okay. That's a great draw here. I'll take it all day. Play another Fable to Mirror Breaker. Stifle, like a bitch. Play a welder. Might have a bolt here, which is fine too. <clears throat> okay. Game on, dude. So the tough the tough card here is probably marked out region, so. Play it, man. F six. I want to tell the kid F six, you know what I mean? So it looks like he has Murk Tide, just needs that land drop. So he might be enticed to just wasteland me here. I think if he finds a wasteland, he doesn't find the extra land behind it. So it's either gonna be draw the wasteland. And play a controlling game, or draw the vol the volcanic whatever, and play Murktide next turn. So, okay. That's a good draw too. I'll take that. I know a Murktide's coming up here, so play it. I, I, I could play the kid's deck for him, I swear to God. It's just, I can't do anything else besides what I have in my hand. I can't, like, I can't, like, not play Fable and Mirror Breaker into a day. It has to happen. Giving these kids a satisfaction is the worst thing. Um, you're forced to will one card. Okay, that's cool. Land, please. Still doesn't look bad for me, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to pyroblast this. I'll let him daze this first, because if it goes to my graveyard, I'm fine with that. Um, go to two cards with a daze, too, by the way. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Um... And I want to be able to resolve this down the road to be able to block and then sack the token for our blockers, things like that. So, comes a lightning bolt. That's two cards. Okay. I'll play it with days here, I guess. Good. 
I just want to do something real quick here, guys. I want to create some space on my drive. Um, good. What does he have, I wonder? Probably a Bowmaster here. Probably a Lightning Bolt here. A Wasteland? Okay, and then what? Okay. And then what? What's this? Molten collapse? You sure you got it, pal. You gonna what are you hitting? Surveil one. Keeps on top, okay. Okay, this token really represents a lot for me. Um, just in blocking senses, buying time. It's basically what this comes down to is buying time. So, you got one card. Land. That's a perfect land to have. This would be a good place for me here. You could have wasted land to me and stopped this, but he didn't do that, so. Yeah, now I can reanimate next turn. Those the stifle in this kid's fucking deck, too. I know that. Stifle. Let's see what art was stifle. What's st it all depends on what art. Let me see. All right, it went original. That's good. Mm. Okay. Bowmaster, flashing a bowmaster. Okay, ping my guy block. Cool. Sure. I can't draw cards now, but I might, I might just have to. <clears throat> okay. He's not careful. I mean, the four damage or something too. So. Okay. Attacking me. Cool. Let's see what we got here. Nice top deck <clears throat> for both of us. You shouldn't have attacked first. Maybe you should have casted this first. I mean, maybe you have a lightning bolt of your own, but I mean, what's the worst card he has in his hand? A stifle or something? I don't even know. <clears throat> oh, you wanted to get the three damage in? I got you. Instead of making this a 1-1. One, one, all right. Delver boy, 
He's a Delva boy. He's a Delva boy. He's like, oh, he's like this fucking kid, this fucking kid in his fucking top decks. Ah, he's crying, he's wrapping up his sleeves. You know what I mean? Vineyard vines on. He's got his little watch on. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm the elite. I'm the elite player out here. I shouldn't be losing the painter guys. Fuck him. Uh, <laughs> The problem with me is I play into the Molten Collapse card quite a bit, so um, I'll bring in this, this, and this, and I have one cut. Um, I'll cut one Soul Guide Lantern, and let's try this, I guess. I just want to, I just want to make sure I can get this going here. Um, I just don't want this thing to cut out with when I'm recording, you know what I mean? Sometimes if I open up this space, it just stops, so. So this is pretty suitable. I mean, a braid maybe, but I'm not gonna play that game. I don't bring in surgical with these guys. Um, so, pretty straightforward, yeah. Basic mountains. I get so stressed out with lands. All it is is about getting land drops out. I have my spells. My spells are fine. I don't care. I can sequence them correctly. I just need my spells. You know what I mean? It's all I need. I don't really like that spell. I might have to let this go for a little while. Just gonna F6 here, I guess. Give the kid the impression I'm all set. Okay. Problem is, I'm gonna make a land drop here and not play into his days. But I wish this was a mountain because I don't want to get wastelanded. So if I play this, oh wow. Come on, baby, hit me. Get a delver out. Show me the love, kid. Show me the love. And he's got Forster Will. He's like, oh, Forster Will's gonna really save me here. Delver. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Oh, uh, see that? So that's three cards. Because he's got the Delver in his hand. And he's got a Force of Will. So he's lucky he didn't dispatch that. Oh. So we're going to hit up. Um, I'll play out the land here. He might pitch a Daze. So the, the good thing here is he's going to pitch Daze. So. Get this out of here. So he gets two Scries. But there's two lands in his deck. So. So he gets a Scry here. Instant. He has Delver in his hand, I think so. <clears throat> the thing is, too, with the Wasteland, if he Wastelands me, he takes him off a double blue for next turn, so. Um, kept on top there. I'll just pay for these here. You see, he has a force of will. <laughs> so I have Pyroblast. I think he kept the wasteland on top, but we'll see. I'm set up pretty fine here, I think. Okay. He didn't. He didn't do anything. He already went through one days here, so. 
in the balls this thing is now. Okay, that's good. Oh, gimme. Gimme, gimme, baby. <clears throat> One card for the Will. Oh, I got a Bull Master, though. The Bull Master is going to do all the work for me because it's my favorite magic card. Should I hit a cantrip here? I probably should. You know, Wasteland, like I knew it was floating around. So you have two cards now. What else you got? Bull Master? Bolt would be a nice draw. If I draw Lightning Bolts, it's good, so. <clears throat> okay. Got it, buddy. Another Delver? Okay. I'll see what he flips first before I make a move. He'll one card in hand. I can mill I can mill it too if I want to. Um I'll stop by attacking, I guess. I think it's worth playing all my cards here. So he does get triggers here. Um, I'll play out the land too. Good. Like I said, if he when one of the trigger hits, I can mill, and we'll see how it goes. Flips a molten collapse. I have to mill that card because I hits my grindstone, and that's a reason to not fucking play out grindstone like I just did. Such a bad play to play grindstone out like that. We'll know his last card. Okay. I have to bolt this thing here. Playing loose here. I shouldn't have um I shouldn't have played grindstone this early. But still it helped me, right? In what a Merktide region? It's really a draw for you. Uh, I'm just dead next turn. Need to draw a Painter here, or any Goblin. Like an Engineer is really good. That's oh, it's a good draw. Engineer, engineer. I need an engineer. I'll get bridge too. Some say love. I mean, white here. And then black. There was upkeep here. I can copy through a bounce spell. Oh, he's stifle? Fuck! Ah, oh, it's such a bitch. Okay. Oh, you have a bolt? Oh, you got me. Damn. Good game.
stifles a car I didn't, I didn't think about, but it doesn't matter. I was going to play that way anyway. Um, okay, so... I don't know if I want to cut this for a braid. <clears throat> I'm going to. Good game. I'll be on play. This hand's better. I'm gonna go right for his song in here, I think. <sighs> this is a fine hand. I'm interested to see how I start this. Um I feel like I wanna go straight straight away for an Urza saga here. Just the way I feel intuitively I wanna play, so I'm just gonna start making tokens and things like that. If I get wastelanded, I get wastelanded, but it's better than probably the tomb here, I would say, in a lot of ways, so Ooh, try that. It's a sweaty motherfucker like me, I can tell. Oh, see that little move? That was cute. Land. <laughs> When I say land, it's good because I know that I'm going to draw a land. I can almost feel it. Let's see what's up here. I'll hang out for a little while. Meltdown sucks. I should maybe have held that to him. I don't know if I like the way I played that. I have plenty of time to draw lands and stuff, but I should have maybe played the city here instead. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Mark my words. I don't know. Kind of looking for a wasteland here, I think, but I don't know. It's, it's kind of like give the guys a little bit to work with. You know what I mean? I gave him a wasteland target. I'm making him think a little bit. He shuffles their libraries. So that's pretty cool. Level four, so wills a card here. Um, feeling fine here. I'm not gonna fight over this. I don't think. Maybe, as I'm not gonna fight. I don't think.
We slams a problem here. I'll deploy bridge next turn. For sure. And then go from there, so. A guy like this won't put out a wasteland yet. He'll, he knows I'm. He knows. I think a guy like this is gonna know that I'm gonna like sandbag a wasteland or try to bait out a wasteland here. So if he has a wasteland, he, he has a wasteland. I think. I don't think he's gonna play it yet because he knows I'm gonna play that game with him too. So another pyroblast would be bad here. That's good. Still gonna play out bridge here. I'll let him come in for three, I think. Or I'll see if he, let's see what he draws here, see what he does. Opening collapse, what's this card exactly say? I should have played the land stake. Ah.
I'll block with this thing if he does attack. Gladly trade with it. That's so fine. Four cards. I'm just worried about surgical and then meltdown, so I have to play on a pay through here. I'm so worried about surgical. I'm so fucked if he has surgical. Just so fucked. And I'm fucked with Wasteland too, so I'm gonna see what he has here. See if he bolts it or something, what he does. He could have meltdown too, so. I don't know if he'd bring in surgical if he had if he has hearse. So Damn it! So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. With a meltdown here, I need to rip grindstone. Terrible. Oh, just a molten collapse? I thought it was a meltdown. That would have sucked. Okay. Get my painter. Still, still a little nervous here with uh, surgical. So one of his cards has to be surgical, which I guess is fine in a way. But. I have to control the game with, you know, I don't even know here. What's he doing with that card? I don't want to play this into a meltdown, and I'm just being cautious here, so. Brazen Borrower sucks here. Okay, petty theft. Okay. That's his only petty theft, right? I'm glad I'm 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 lucky I drew this.
We have a lightning bolt coming up here. How many bolts have we gone through? There's no bolts yet. There's one bolt here. One molten collapse. There's two of these in their decks. So we'll go off a meltdown too, guys. So I gotta I gotta find something fast. So <clears throat> grindstones are good. I mean <laughs> I have two of those. I have you know like a braze apprentice would be neat. Um uh I could even take I'll even take I mean I don't know yet. Uh, like a, I mean, I guess a fable's fine to start. Uh, you know, I don't want Urza Saga yet. I could take another Pyroblast. Um, that's a great draw here. He has the hearse, so. I can't weld out the hearse of his, so let's see what he has here. Bowmaster? Okay. Hmm. Yep. Could have waited with that, but. And then a bolt of zero cards. Trigger, put it in the graveyard, please. Lethal. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Games. We found meltdowns. Let me see what my next card is. I can't even. I can't even see it. it won't let me. All right, the games. So it's like a new league, I guess. There's only 25 guys in. Let me see if I can't play someone else, not the same guy. But let's see what happens. Um. I guess like every couple of months, whatever they start a new um, like season or whatever it's called, and they reset. So <clears throat> game. I think I just I dispatched that fury too soon earlier, and I had like staring bridge out. Probably should have kept that. But here you go. Meltdown does a trick. So. Oh, what last game was brutal.
Oh, so it's crashing footballs? Okay. <clears throat> I find that wasteland is always a problem for me. This deck. So I have to find Goblin Engineer for a snaring bridge. Usually what this comes down to. The welder? No, okay. Alright, so if I start with a with a soul guide lantern or if I start with Bray's apprentice here and he forced the wills it, I can get it back next turn. Which is going to be like a turn later, which is kind of terrible. So let me just go for a Fable Mirror Breaker here. I could have Force of Will here, but he goes to three cards. So maybe a kind of a weird play here, but. I want to get Engineer online here. That's really, really what I want to do here. So this could be the point at which I win or lose this game, or even have a chance. Or whatever. So I can discard Bray's Apprentice now, which is really sweet. Um, go from there, so. Gives me two looks at cards now. At least, I'll keep the Pyroblast in the hand the whole time. That was a risky line there. If I got Force of Will, it would have sucked. Um, I think he still has it, but he doesn't want to use it there. Um, like I said, it could have been just like, I mean, if I had taken a turn off, either way, and just played a Mountain, it's always Wasteland they have to. Play like a Soul Guide Lantern to get an artifact on board, then like gone for like a Braze Apprentice or even like Fable with Force of Will with Pyroblast backup. Like I'm still just like not really like advanced in the board state, so like I'm a turn behind behind, you know. Whereas now I just get like a Braze Apprentice on and also have a Fable out the same turn, so. If I attack and he just has another one of those things, I think I can attack here. I'm going to attack. I'm not be scared. I know myself here, too. Have to find an engineer. Has to happen. Or painter.
We have a Minskin Boo in his hand. Does he want to? Does he want to waste me or cast Minskin Boo? Um, I don't know. <laughs> like, what, what are you thinking about bouncing a welder, killing welder? I don't know. You know endurance, hard cast endurance here. It sure is enduring, though. I'll tell you that. Another one of those is pretty good there. So that's 10 damage coming in. I'm at 18. I gotta find Engineer and Bridge here. I'll find it. Oh, it doesn't have haste, right? Okay. That's 10. I'll just take 10. My last turn for this, anyway. Um, I don't think I swap out Bray's Apprentice. He only has two cards now, so I can fight through a Force of Will and just get Bridge. Unless he has Endurance, which would suck. Um, either way, I'm going for Bridge here. So let me see if he has Endurance here. You know what I mean? Because I have the Great Furnace. I can just play it and then attack at a token. So let me see if he has it here. I'm not going to go for Paint here, even though I probably could. Watch the Endurance. Oh. I'll let it happen. Okay, cool. Could have got Painter here in one, two, but. <laughs> Man, this is painful. I tell you. So painful. I think he's new to this deck. <clears throat> I'll just do this now, I guess. <clears throat> so, like, laying around endurance and all that shit, Casey draws it, so. You could draw Brazen Borrower here, too. I can copy, uh, I can copy Engineer, get Painter in Yard now.
the sideboard. Um, it's going to be tough. I mean, I don't want to bring in Fury here. If he plays Minskin Blue, I can bring, I can actually Needle Wasteland here. It's not bad. It's usually Wasteland that gets me with these decks. And Minskin Blue, if he plays it, I don't know if they're still on Minskin Blue. Um, I could bring in a Red Elemental Blast here. I'll, I'll cut cards like Soul Guide Lantern, Lightning Bolt. I could bring in a Fury to save my ass if I need to to buy me a turn. Um, so this is part of the grieving process we're in right now. Usually it happens with guys like this where, you know, something like an event happens and there's a grieving process. So it's good to just kind of like be with the opponent for a little bit, hold their hand through it all and not fight it. It's just, it's a beautiful experience. Very spiritual, you know, so. Okay, do his wasteland. That's out of the way. And waste me here? Game three, game two, I should tell him. But if I write game two, it's rude. You know, maybe he draws Brazen Borrower. I get to untap with two welders. He'll never bounce the, the bridge. I want, you know, and, and, and if I tell him that, He'll just sit there and stare at the screen for longer. And there'll be a pause in all this, like, craziness for him to process what I said. And he's going to think about it and say, no, I'm not going to respond to him. That's going to take about 30 seconds to process, too. So it's an added 30 seconds to this fucking chaos that's happening right now. So it's all part of the whole thing. You know what I mean? This is so stupid to me to play magic like this. It really is. I don't know if he's privy to all this, but he's still staring at the screen with a nice bridge out with zero cards in hand. You guys know it's zero cards. Okay, wastes me. Cool. Puts another artifact on board for me. I got to be careful how I play this too because at some point I'm going to need to have that. Um, I can always attack the token and draw an artifact that way. Um, now if I sack this... My only artifact will be either a token from this or a snaring bridge, and um, I can always copy this to make another artifact. So let me just pass turn here. So that's like the best draw here, I think. Can weld that in for the great furnace here as well. Can I win here? So not yet. No. Oh, so copy get painter. I'm gonna hold off here. <clears throat> Play the land, right? Yeah. Okay, it's a wasteland. Good. Got it. Game's over. Copy here. I get painter. I only have grindstone here. Grindstone, or Painter, I'm sorry. Uh, painter, I can go... Um, Ask him what color he wanted there. Oh, Power Blast. Power Blast. Come on. Come on. Oh, did he concede? Oh. Oh. Poor kid. Poor kid. Um, let's do what I said. Pithy Needle. Um, I'll just cut cards I don't want to see. Ah. That's four cards, just don't lie here. I'll bring in a Fury to save my ass, like I said. And I guess I'll bring in a Red Blast for Fury and one Lightning Bolt. Well, this goes. I mean, I, I'm only bringing in red cards here. I'm not going to bring in Magus the Moon, even though I should, but I'm not going to. 
Um, it's going to take all three minutes for this kid to board to watch. I have my, I have my, my noise on. So check, check, check. Sometimes I don't know. Not bad. So force of vigor, force of vigor, force of will, and wasteland are the three cards. I embrace and borrower. So first on my mind is force of vigor. Second is force of will. Third is raise and borrower. Because raise and borrower and endurance too. Endurance is a card. So it's all about sniffing it out. How you're gonna play all that shit. I'm gonna keep. My saga, I refuse to start with saga here. Some of you guys might do that and go wacko, but between Force of Vigor, Wasteland, all the shit, Force of Will on Painter, Force of Vigor, like I said, it's just, it's, it's, it's disastrous. So, I might just run out my cards. I might go Goblin Welder into Fable, or I might go, you know, you know, Mountain, Goblin Welder, Saga, Painter, see where we go type shit. So, one of my best draws here, um, Engineer is like my best draw. I want Engineer. Always looking for a turn to Engineer here. Oh, we're crashing footballs. A welder is good too. It gives me double welds to Endurance, but I need Engineer first. But I think with Painter now, let's see how, let's see, let's see how this feels. I'm behind the eight ball now with this, with this Suspend here. So it's like now it's two turns away. So again now, let's see how he plays. There's his Wasteland, which I knew he had. And I'll give him the Wasteland me here. Um, so if I play Painter and he doesn't force to will it, and I can I can weld in I can weld in Painter for Bridge. Now if I name Blue here, it turns on his Force of Wills. Which a kid like this might not know that. <laughs> but then again he might, so like I said. I can go, I can jam next turn whatever I want for three drops and not really worry about it. You go to three cards with a, with a fire and ice too, which kills my welder. You could have a force of vigor in his hand, might get a little nuts here, but let's see. Like I said, fire and ice is a card as well that kills my paint, my um, goblin welder here, so I might foil my plan a little bit. Again, endurance does the same thing, but he needs a land drop or a green card here to pair with it, so. I'm counting cards the whole time. I'm 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 on this kid like fucking you know what? Like, you know what I mean? All right, there's my source here, so he could wasteland wasteland me in response here. Um with a force of vigor, which would suck. So let me get this let me get the ball rolling here and go Fable the mirror breaker. This is going to resolve or get a Force of Will. And then I'm going to go second main phase, Goblin Welder. So what's going to happen is with the Force of Vigor, I can double weld with the token. So like, <laughs> I'm like 10 steps ahead of myself. I'll play out the Welder here too. So I'll have, I'll have a double hit here. So what I'm going to be able to do is, you know, if he wants to waste me, he can. The Force of Vigor end step kind of sucks, but I'll have a token and then I can land a bridge next turn. So there's a Force of Vigor like I knew he had. There's my welder. And I'm not gonna attack into the crashing footfalls if he has it here. And if he doesn't if he wants to waste Sammy, he can. So now I have two welds now for either the force of will on snaring bridge or a painter. So I'm gonna attack next turn, get my token, and then go from there. So you guys see what I'm trying to do here. So it's, it's all this is is getting the fucking cards out of these motherfuckers' hands. That's all this is. Work these guys, bleed them out. Four goblin welders, four goblin engineer. That's all you need. I mean, play the game a little bit. You know what I mean? 
So let me start by attacking. I can even weld up my own ensnaring bridge if I want to attack him. So. See if he hits me on my um, on the trigger here. Nothing yet. Okay. So now, ensnaring bridge is definitely getting online. Please force the willow, bro. So no matter what, I have double hits here. And he gets that. That's good. I have another saga coming out. It's really good too. Okay. The shardless agent. How long are we gonna stare at the screen? You tell me. Oh, that was fast. Okay, came to grips with that pretty quickly. Ah, oh, is this painful? Oh, you blow hard sometimes. So are you gonna waste me now? Or waste me to my upkeep. Up to you.
Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I should have sacked. I sacked the treasure for Painter. And instead of stacking the treasure for Painter there, I could have sacked. Um, well, I couldn't get Bridge off. But if you guys are playing like this, remember this because now there's nothing to replace anything in my yard. Now, if I had like a Lotus Petal in here, I could be like, all right, swap out Lotus Petal and back in for Painter. But I can't do that. So. And I still hit him, which means now. He still can't attack. Take some off Brazen Borrower for my bridge, which is fine. And um, all right, so that's good to see too for guys that are getting in. Kind of a couple little dipsy doos here. Still have a snaring bridge in play. Um, I can get another grindstone here and whack him twice. So it's good too. I, I can't whack him twice, can I? I'll just get this for. Um... And I'm going to get a, uh, did I cut Soul Guide Lantern? I might have. I can get a Soul Guide Lantern here too. If I had Soul Guide Lantern in my deck, I would have cast Engineer, got Soul Guide Lantern. So when I mill him and he, he flashes in Endurance. Um, now he's in play. Now I'll get a Painter in my yard now, which is really good. Like, you can't bounce it again. This is so... It's taking too long for all this easiness. I'm making it difficult. But, again, these are little tricks to play around and do shit. Some of you guys might have already won, won this game. I'm not even going to get Dragon Engine. It's not even going to happen. So, upkeep, I'll do this again. You can probably even do it now. and be okay. <sighs> You have endurance, and you better you better revoke it, and not hard cast it. Because I'm just gonna I'm gonna grind you again, dude. This is why I was telling you if I had engineer in my deck, uh, soul guide lantern, I would have played it and got soul guide lantern here. Because now when he evokes this, I can weld in soul guide lantern and get rid of his whole yard, so we can't get another turn here. But it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Got it.
What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Never good when you see a chrome box like this. Oh, so it's a blue chrome box? Okay. Who plays a uh, chrome box in blue like this? I wonder. Hey, it's a shuffle, that's good. Wouldn't mind a pyroblast here. Another fury. Um I don't feel like I feel like time is not on my side here. So I'm gonna play out this way. And I'll play out a Goblin Welder. I have a feeling the Goblin Welder will be a good card to have on the field here. It could be like an artifact deck, like a turbo like draw card type deck. So we'll see. Okay. Oh, it's it's actually Storm here. Okay. So this is Echo. That sucks. Good luck, have fun. Hi, good luck, have fun. <laughs> like an A, man. Good luck, have fun. It's like, to me, you know what that stands for? Sometimes I say kidding around, but when a guy says good luck, have fun, to me, it's like a big fuck you. And I'm not kidding when I say that. To me, it's like a big fuck you. Because it's like, all right, have fun. It's like, I know, we're here to have fun. I'm not here to hang out and not have fun. So it's like, yeah, good luck, have fun. I know it's just a saying, and I know it's, but if you're gonna say it, mean it. Like, that means you don't mean it. Like, hey, good luck, have fun. Like, you're just like breaking the ice, I get it. <clears throat> you're breaking the ice to make conversation, you know what I mean? To me, just don't say it. You know, I said it last match, kidding around. They kind of get the kid to hurry his ass up, but you know, good luck, have fun. Good luck, have fun. How many times I've heard that the kid goes like turn one child to the void or like reanimates a fucking crystal brand on me? You know? Like this kid taking forever to figure this out. I was gonna run Mind Break Trap on this sideboard here too for a bit, but I cut that. I guess I can bring in Surgical, Red Blast, Door, and all that shit. So this is it. I got all this time to figure this out. So you sack this in response to the, the what is it? Um, um, Okay, so what's this? Sack that for three blue again, or what do you do? Now, if I had a, if I had a Pyroblast here, it could get me out of some things. All this kid needs to know is what kind of deck I'm on. Like, if I run Pyroblast like that, like, if you play against Painter, it's like, all right, what can he possibly have to stop me here? And it's going to be Pyroblast if he, if he goes for, like, anything better than, like, an Ad Nauseam here, you know? So. <clears throat> oh, Beseech the Mirror? Okay. Pretty tough one, huh? He had he multi five or four. Okay, so what do you get? Um, you get another beseech the mirror, or no, you can't, right? Oh, you do. You get another beseech the mirror, and you tendrils me. So. Okay, good game. Turn one kill, right? Or turn two kill, fam. Yeah, turn two kill. Good game. Okay, so, so it's a blue version, which I like better. And streamline a little bit here. Soul Guard Lantern is good because it picks off like. The guy is guy is will the graveyard shenanigans. I cut a lightning bolt here. Let's try this pithy needle. What does pithy needle get from him? Sometimes they board into the um, the four five death touch girl, children. Uh, 
I can't keep this on the strength of Pyroblast here because it's turn one painter, then discard Pyroblast or whatever. I mean, then, then like, they can work around the one counter spell, and then, like, what? Like, as I play painter, then I hold up Pyroblast, there's nothing for me. Um, it's just absolutely nothing for me, too. One second. I'm gonna go right for a Thorn of Amethyst turn one. I'm hoping I can nab a cantrip and then I put Painter down. I'm not gonna use Painter Blast like that. I'm gonna get Thorn of Amethyst and I'm gonna try to stop him a little bit through a cantrip maybe even if I draw like to see how I feel I might even just hold it up next turn too. Um, kind of get a feel for things here but I think with discard, it's not good, but. I don't think Blood Moon's good enough to bring in either. Um, especially with the test versions. Because it's just like, there's so many Mox Opals, Lotus Petals, you know, Chrome Mox, things like that. So there's a Tendrils under that thing. Okay. This is another Beseech here, I guess, or whatever it is. Well, there's his Metalcraft. Is it Tendrils in here? If he sacks for three blue, I'll be happy. Oh, there is an echo in his deck. All right, he discarded his hand. He has an echo. Okay, gotcha. Empty the Warrens. I can try to beat that or not. No, it's ten goblins. And he has that in his yard. Okay. Took out bridge. <laughs> oh my bad, this game. I mean, why would I leave in staring bridge? So bad. Uh, yeah, he has an echo on his side in, in the thing here. I block, right? And I can play painter next time. I draw a land. Oh, it's more than that? It's 11? Okay. I need a land drop. I just need one. Possibly get in this deck. <sighs> I took out, um, I think I just lose. I took out Bray's Apprentice too, so I can't really do much with that. There I guess. There I guess.
I lose no matter what here. I caught both my Furies. There's nothing I can do there, right? I blocked two guys to gate, so. <clears throat> Uh, I'll do another one. <clears throat> Happens. You can do. Uh, I'm all a five, too. My first hand, I couldn't keep with Lightning Bolt and Painter. I wasn't going to do it. <clears throat> and he had Echo in the, in the graveyard, too. So it was just bad. <clears throat> Didn't look good. You can say Pa. I don't know. <clears throat> I do know something though. My saltwater fish tank is fucking crazy. It's really good. You guys are here to see it. Amazing. Maybe I'll do a video with it one day.
you gonna do? Oh, what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Oh, what you gonna do? Oh, what you gonna do when they come for you? The chunky bun, that one. The chunky bun, this one. The chunky bun, the mother and the chunky bun, the father. The chunky bun, the brother and the chunky bun, the sister. The chunky bun, that one. Yeah, I played around with fucking Bowmaster this whole time. And of course, there was no Bowmaster, so. Why I didn't play all Welder last turn? Reanimate will kill me here. And I completely outplayed myself, if that's the case here, so. I'm gonna reanimate on my Fury. So bad here for me. The white black Pox deck looks like. If you have it, you gotta play it, dude. If you gotta, you gotta play it. If you have reanimate, I'm screwed. Then again, if <laughs> I don't know if I played this correctly, I'm thinking about this. Like, if he does have Bowmaster and I can't draw cards, it's gonna be really tough. I mean, I might just have to draw cards. That's a rip, huh? Play a card, man. Okay, yeah, you get a fatal push. Great. Um, I mill him. It's a nice pox deck. Okay, you draw a card. You go to two cards. I think I gotta sack this one. Get away from Bowmaster. He has Bowmaster, I still lose, right? Maybe I should have sacked. I'm drawing cards here regardless. So. This is another Lily or a Lingering Soul. So I could have won if I didn't sack stupid ass Soul Guard Lantern. I mean, uh. Um. <clears throat> He's got one draw step here. <laughs> he needs to kill Engineer. I think it looks pretty good for me. You rip, dude. Okay. I got him here. I outplayed myself, I'll tell you that much. Sweet deck. I'm listen. I'm not saying it's not, it's a great deck. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's go here. Good deck. 
I used to play a lot of parks, a lot of parks. I had a tabernacle, all four seasons of Misha's Factories. I had Liliana's. I loved it. I cherished it. I had another voids. I had chains. I had it all. Um, but the black white box deck, I think it was like Vindicate, Swords of Plowshares, Flagstones is really good with like small box. Um, what are the white cards that you get? Any sideboard cards? I'm trying to think. I used to play all different versions like Mox Diamonds, Life from the Loam, it's awesome. Worm Harvest, like all different types of shit. So I'm, co I'm concerned about Reanimates here. I think he's going to bring in Pithy Needle, so I'll bring in a Braid here, I think, which might be really bad. Um, I'll bring a Needle for Lily here. Liliana the Veil. I'll cut this card. And I'll cut a Lotus Petal here. I could even bring in like a Magus here, but I don't think it's good enough. I'll leave in Furies to my dismay. Maybe I'll cut one, bring in a Bolt. I can see like Void Walker coming in, things like that. It's a sweet deck. I don't really like the mono black decks that are out there. I think they're very aggressive, but I like a nice Pox deck. Let's see what this happens. There's no collector roof, right? At least Spray's Apprentice gets me through like Liliana the Veil pretty well. Um, he's going to be playing the troll in this deck. I didn't really think of that, but uh, Thought sees me. Five cards. Okay, she might take. Who knows here? I have a risky hand to keep, by the way. <laughs> Surgical? Um, I'll play paint there because of surgical. Or I could have just played that differently. <laughs> I'm half a retard. Oh well. There has to be Dark Ritual, Liliana the Veil, or even like a uh, Smallpox here, which is really bad for me. Should have thought of that better. Take my Braze Apprentice. You know, Wasteland's fine. Okay. You would have taken the other Painter there. At least this gives me better top decks. I draw a card here. I'll draw a card, play around Bullmaster, but I also want to, um, I don't want to get discarded again, so maybe end step I can do that. So he puts it in his graveyard. Wasteland, okay. Put a Wasteland in his graveyard? Or keep a card on top, okay. I'm going to draw a card. If, fatal, if he fatal pushes this, I'll just hit a land, I think, which is not the right play, but probably could be. So we'll see. Liliana the Veil would be a good draw for him. It's not like he's playing against counter spells, so. It's like, sure. Sure. Oh, that's a good rip, right? It's around the other, the other Liliana of the Veil he's got in his fucking hand, too. I'll re-up real quick. Re-up real quick. I'm going to get a Dragon Engine, not even worry about it. I should get Grindstone, but I'm on time. I'm going to draw tree cards, treat them, um, and see what happens here. Should I even discard this Bolt for Liliana? We'll see. I'll start with engineer, buddy. The double wasteland. Why don't you waste me there, man? 
you have to wasteland me there or else I just can't win, right? Um, I'm going to get the... I'll get the... Um, I'll make him cast a Bowmaster and then I'll bolt it and then draw three cards. Or... Yeah, so we... Oh, I already played land? Fuck. I already played a land? Oh, I played Saga. That's too bad. I can at least weld back in Painter. Lands for days. What do you got? Three cards. Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, what? cast here. I don't even know if it's worth welding out the great the uh, dragon engine anymore. Yep, yeah, you get a veil. Sure. Psychic creature. Gladly. Um, <clears throat> the game I drew well Pyroblast and Painter are a pretty powerful combo I know guys love using it to hit lands and ancient tombs and people's volcanic islands and sometimes it's good sometimes so we'll go 
the rainbow. Let's see who I face now. I bet it's going to be some, like, top dog, like, fucking heavy hitter, fucking medallions on him and shit. Like, you know, he's like a seasoned veteran. He got, like, the, uh, what do you call it, the badge of honor on. We'll see. Who's up? Oh, this kid's good, too. Um, more like a, a, um, uh, I know he plays Arclight Phoenix style style decks, but this is uh I gotta mull this hand. That this hand would have been great with a mountain, but this hand's good too. Um I'll just play Soul Guy Lantern. I think he's on now. Last time I said, uh, last time I saw him, it'll be something different. Let's see, what's that buried alive card? Oh, he's someone something different. Cool, cool man, cool mountain, please mountain, mountain. Thank you, mountain. Thank you. Um, This could be a um, Stifle Knot deck, now that I think about it. Yeah. I think it's a Stifle Knot deck, so. I'm going to have to get Snaring Bridge here. I think a land is my best draw. I think it's like a Murktide slash like Dreadnought deck. It's a Stifle and Mono Blue. So, let's see if I can't get there here real quick. Land. Um, I still think I can work him over here a little bit. I want to get Force of Wills out, and I'm not going to fight over that. It's fine, D's. So I'm going to have to get Engineer in play and get Ensnaring Bridge here. I don't care about Murktide region, I don't think. What do you throw away? A daze. Okay, so it's like a mono blue stifle knot deck style thing. So wasteland would suck. Oh, it's boggles. Yeah, I'm definitely getting snaring bridge. <laughs> this is I've yet to see this card in Legacy. This is hexproof. Was it like slip through and shit? Like. What's that card? Curious Obsession? I used to love that card in, in Standard. Oh, you fucking Wasteland? Cool, you're not going to use it. I don't blame you. Don't stifle me. I don't think you have a way to get rid of this besides. I'm going to do this now while he has no blue. Up the stifle again. Can you beat a bridge, dude? Main deck? Oh, he's done? Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Fucking boggles! <laughs> right. Uh, Red Blast. I'm, I'm taking all my lightning bolts. <laughs> GG, bro. That was a good game.
right? That was fun. Cut these, cut this. I'm just going to bring in surgical because I will surgical. All of his force of wills, all of his dazes, all of it. It's going to happen. Okay. I'll bring in a break because I think he's going to be able to, I think he's going to bring in a pithy needle or like a graft digger's cage or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? So, and I can bring in needle for wasteland. I don't want to do that, but I will. And I'll bring in the other soul guy at the end and draws me a card and it's just cheap artifacts. See what's up. Let's see what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Bad boys. <gasps> oh. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I get to heck. I get to kill one of his boggles. I need another mountain. I'll be happy. Don't play a boggle on me, kid. Ooh. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta leave a pyroblast here. Bad boys, what you want? What you want? What you gonna do? Oh, I'm nervous. Nervous. Here's a dress down. I'm nervous. I need another mountain here, guys, or I'm fucked. So bad here. Play around days a little bit. Wasteland sucks. Okay. Me a mountain, please. I have to play painter here. I mean, I really don't care about this card, but I'm going to Pyroblast anyway, just because it's a nuisance and I want to use my mana. So I'm going to use Red Blast because I have less of these in my deck. I don't want to get surgical. But I know this ain't going to resolve, but it's still fine. I can, I can, oh, it did? Okay, cool. What's he have, like, Curious Obsession in his hand? Give me another mountain, I'll play it too. Play around days, fuck it. Um, I'll play this. It's fine. Double strike ain't nothing, so. Okay. <laughs> what bracket is this? I have two losses, right? This kid always plays cool next time. I know he gets to cycle that card, goes to five cards. I just have to counter a slippery boggle here, right? Yeah, this thing. Why just surgical that fucking card? I 
I'll uh, hit my pyroblast off with the soul guide lantern to. Uh, I'm gonna play around. I'm not gonna play. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna play the days here. I'll play into days. I mean, take care of my pyroblast to play around surgical, and I'll surgical his boggle here because I think that's one of the cards. His wing con is. It could be a force of will here, but I'm not gonna care about that. Show me a hand. Don't concede on me. Oh, he's gone. Gone like the wind. All right, the game. He lost connection of the game. He's, he's gone. All right, what happened? I want to see how many he had in his hand. All right, sweet. What, what happened here? I went three and two. Not bad. What were my losses to? Um... So I lost to Storm and I lost to the Delver deck, which is fine. Storm is a tough matchup. Delver boy found meltdown. I think if I had a couple more turns, I could have got out of that. But a good game is to watch anyway. Hope you guys are doing well. I know a lot of guys are loving it, playing with different cards. I love to kid around on Discord. You guys know my humor. I love you guys. I'm going back to work tomorrow. I'll be working full time. I had some time off. I'm a Mason, so I get like some downtime and shit. I play a ton, but I'll be playing still. I'll be I'll be uh, making videos and stuff. But I love you guys very much. Hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe out there. I'll catch you guys next time.